Uh, Nanaya, what, 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 what do you say about the move? Um, because there are people who feel that, you know, parties with a lot of rich history behind them that have been in power before, but because of the, the NDC MPP, you know, sort of swallowing up some of these uh, smaller parties, so to speak, um, it disadvantages the, some of the smaller parties and they may, they may fall victim. Um, what do you say? Thank you very much, Samson. All I would say is that um, the EC is trying to implement the law vis-a-vis -vis the issue of trying to let democracy thrive. Because as we were speaking, it came out clearly that we might end up with maybe two parties, which becomes a duopoly, and already the duopoly Ghanaians are dissatisfied with them. So I believe that they are doing it in the right direction and that the moribund party, some parties are just not there. You can't find them anywhere. Right. They only come up maybe during elections. Even at that, you can't even find them. But they are there in the books. So they are doing that in the right direction. Also not forgetting that they need to let democracy thrive. They need to let multi-party democracy thrive because we cannot be in a situation where we have only two parties. That is a very dangerous situation. Already, these two parties are trying to muscle out any other party that tries to rear up its head to overtake them. So certainly, it is a good move, but as they do it, they should also consider certain things, especially political party financing. The political parties, as we stand, we, we look for our own funding, which is not an easy thing. So they need to also consider it. But my problem, my biggest problem when I read the provisions is that in um, the Constitution, Article 55, Clause 9, the one on the constituencies or the districts, mm. it says that we should be organized. And I need some clarity from the EC, and we've asked this question. We had a lot of debate over it. What does it mean to be organized? They were very specific with the regional one that you should be present with offices. But when it came to the district, they say you should be organized. And what does it actually mean to be organized? Especially in this day and age of digitalization, of social media and all that. How, what do you mean if you say somebody, a group should be organized? And we believe that there should be clarity on that matter. All of us, it is not only when we had the argument, both MPP and all of us talked about it. Mm. So I think the EC should come out with some clarity. If there's a need to also look at the constitution for us to amend it in a certain way, for it to reflect the, the context in which we are. This constitution was done in 1992. It's over 30 years. And at the context at the time, what was existing, we need to also look at that. Because but, the but, but, but what the EC is relying on now is the 2000 Political Parties Act. That is where they draw the strength so the to do what thing. they are doing. I mean, when you read the old one and this one, the difference is not much. Hmm. It is like the 1979 constitution to the 1992 one. When you look through it, the differences are not much. And even if it's 2022 years, we need to look at it carefully. And also they should bring clarity to that clause of organized, that you should be organized in two thirds of all the districts. Dr. Issei should tell us what it means because we had the argument, we talked about it, we didn't come to a conclusion. Mm -hmm. But at least the move is good that they need to take out some more man political parties to send a mm. signal that if you are not ready to okay. be part of uh, 